everyone i'm back welcome back to another how to draw video i'm really really glad to be back i um have been completely mia for a while for those of you who follow me on instagram i mean i i hardly even post on there my life has been changing and is changing <laughs> but anyway without further ado i know a lot of people have been requesting this video of how to draw fillies so, the first thing we're going to do is think about the measurements of the filly. You know that I always start with the circle that I'm planning on wor working with. The head is going to be about that big. With normal ponies, like I've mentioned in my other videos, normal ponies are about three heads tall. My cats are going kind of crazy, so if you hear thumping and running, it's them. Regular ponies are about three heads tall, and stallions are about three and a half heads tall. And so, fillies are basically two heads tall, slightly more than two heads. So, wherever you draw your circle, you just kind of double it. I mean, I make it a little bit longer, but it's pretty much two heads tall. You could get away with just making it exactly two heads. So we have our circle for the little filly's head, and then we're going to go ahead and add her little body. So just like the other ponies, and again, I'm going to do a completely generic, um, an exciting kind of a three-quarter pose, like all my other videos. <laughs> my cats are going nuts. So the neck starts around the center of the circle at the bottom of the circle and comes down maybe about halfway between the bottom of the head and where the ground will be so it comes down about that far the head is actually wider than the body so the body you're going to make it shorter than the width of the head so if the head's out to here I'm gonna make it a little bit shorter maybe like one quarter of the amount shorter this line is the marker we're going to use as the top of the back of the little filly and then this is where the back of the neck would be but that's probably gonna be hidden by hair so just really lightly draw that in the legs are of course a lot thicker and width than regular ponies. So this leg, which is closest to us, I'm drawing that line coming down and that's about, oh, well, that's kind of thick. And then with the back leg, I start with the back of the heel, the line of the back of the heel first. Go like this and then bring this line down. And then make sure that both of the legs are equally as thick. You don't want to make one leg too much thicker. And it's kind of easy to do um, for some reason. I don't know, maybe that's what I've found <laughs> is when I'm drawing fillies because I'm trying to make their legs a little bit thicker than what I'm used to. I end up drawing them kind of different, um, different sizes. And then the back leg... It's just going to be back here, and you want to make that, of course, a little bit shorter because it's further away, so it looks shorter. And the other back leg also has to match be at the same level of that first back leg. We'll use our mistake line as the back leg line. Perfect. That works out. And then the belly comes up, kind of covers the back leg a little bit. There we have the basic body form of the filly. Yay! So I'm going to be laying down the guidelines for the head and the face. So this first guideline is going to be showing how the head is tilted, again, this way. If this line is higher, that means the pony is looking up. If it's lower, that means it's a little bit more down. Even though this is pretty low, this is where I put it because I like I need to know where the bottom of the eyes will be. So I put it there. 
And then this other guideline shows whether the pony is looking more left or more right. Then I'd like to put in the eyes, and the eyes are definitely different from a regular sized pony. Both the eyes are obviously much bigger, but not only are they bigger, they're more round, so they're more circular, and they're also further apart from each other than normal ponies. I'm going to be putting the eye right here, and it's going to be freaking huge. And I'm trying not to lay down too many lines. But that's the idea. And then the other eye is going to be about there. It should look a little bit like a bug because their eyes are so enormous, but cute. So when we go in to draw the nose, we're going to draw the bridge extended from this side of the furthest eye. So this is going to come down. It barely comes out past this circle. Just a little bit. This line is brought back down to the bottom of the circle. And that's how little the nose is. We have the eyes down, we have the mouth. The nose is a tiny little U. It's a little sideways U. And the ears. The bottom of the back of the ear is almost where the top of the eye is. Maybe a little bit lower, but and it goes up to this top line here, so the top of the head. And the top of the ear is about where the top of the head is. It's a lot smaller than regular ponies. I guess when they grow, just like humans, their ears get bigger. So, what I'm going to do is draw her pupil. Her pupil is, it takes up almost as much as the entire eyeball itself. Just like a regular pony, this one, the eyes are really, really large. Okay, super duper big eyes. We'll go ahead and do this one. You can literally just, this gets brought down. And then again, we're we're going to do another circle for the pupil. We'll do it again for this side. Let's go like this, add a little bit of some sunshine rays. So there are the eyes. I fixed the outline. It looked a little weird, but I think it just was kind of sketchy and sloppy on the outside. So I just kind of defined those lines. I'm going to go over everything with like marker and stuff. But moving on to the hair, I do have a video about different ways to draw pony hair, which you can check out. I'll have the link right here. For this pony, I'm feeling inspired by nature, so I'm going to give her She's going to have nature-inspired hair. <laughs> Her. Okay, so unfortunately the eyes look a little too far apart and since I insisted on drawing with a colored pencil, I can't erase it. Ugh. I'm gonna have to come to terms with number two pencils and suck it up. I just smear it so much so I like using colored pencils better but I love how he looks. But I just know that everyone watching, you know, you're going to want to see how to make the authentic looking filly. And so that's what I'm trying to go for. So I'm going to quickly redraw this and be right back. Okay, so I redrew um, our little filly and I made a few adjustments. I first of all used an actual <laughs> pencil instead of a colored pencil and I made the eyes a little bit closer together but still take note that 
the eyes on a filly are a little bit farther apart than a regular pony. I also adjusted the length of the legs, um, my other drawing, the legs. One was a little bit longer, I don't know. I kind of cleaned up the whole thing. Usually drawings come out better the second time you draw them anyway, so it's all good. <laughs> so what I'm going to be doing next is coloring everything. And like I said, I was really inspired by nature and leaves when I drew this pony. So I'm going to color him or her accordingly. And I don't know if it's going to be a him or her. Um, I'll see if, I don't know, kind of looks like a girl. So yeah, I'm going to be coloring in fast forward mode or time lapse. And I'll be back to show the finished product. Okay, here's the finished filly. <laughs> you look so cute. Still don't know if it's a boy or a girl. Looks like a boy. He definitely doesn't have a cutie mark yet because he's a filly. I went ahead and just painted a background with some fall colors and his color scheme was inspired by fall colors. So I'm really excited to have this for you guys. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Definitely tell me what you'd like to see. If you want me to if you want to see me draw other animals, people, landscapes, scenery, or maybe different techniques, how to get started, what what to use, um, I would be happy to do videos like that. I'm planning on doing some let's plays. So let me know what you'd like to see as far as that too. What kind of games would you like to see me play? Um, I'm really interested in platformer games and RPGs, games like Zelda, Final Fantasy, Assassin's Creed. I also love The Sims. I already kind of started a Sims Let's Play of that, so if you'd like to see that, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. For all the subscribers, for all the followers on Instagram, for you guys who comment on my Instagram photos and encourage me to continue making videos, it really means the world to me. It, it would be a dream come true to be able to do this all day. <laughs> Maybe sometime in the future, we'll see. So thank you so much for watching again, guys, and I'll see you next time. I love you so much. Bye.